सो टूडे वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट वल्हाट्स मैथड नाउ वल्हाट्स मैथड इज ऑल्सो नोन एज प्रेसिपिटेशन टाइट्रेशन आई हैव ऑलरेडी मेड अ सेपरेट वीडियो ऑन वॉट इज प्रेसिपिटेशन टाइट्रेशन वेर यू विल गेट अ डिटेल अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑन द प्रेसिपिटेशन टाइट्रेशन right now i'll be giving you a basic idea on what is this precipitation titration so the name itself suggests that what is precipitation titration here we will be using precipitation as an end point to determine the concentration of the ions so titration is what titration is to determine the concentration of this ions like chloride bromide scn minus and i minus here in this case that is monovalent ions in case of precipitation titration now to determine the concentration of this ions precipitation titration like wolhart's method is used now this wolhart's method is indirect method of titration so this question is very much asked in jpet so no and take your pens and notes and write it down that wolhart's method is indirect method now how to remember this see here in the wolhart's method there is l and there is d now this l is similar to i if i'll do here a bit of i then it will be like i and this d so like that remember that wolhart's method is indirect method of titration which is used determine the concentration of chloride bromide thiocyanates and iodide ions fine now here agno3 will be used as a precipitating agent and finally the end point will be getting which is fescn that are the red precipitates now here what happens is excess amount and the known amount of course of silver nitrate which is a precipitating agent is used to determine the concentration of say chloride okay so this chloride ions are there will be reacted with agno3 this is going to give silver chloride okay at first whatever amount of chloride ions will be present that is going to be forming silver chloride once this chloride is used up then after that is just agno3 remaining so that agno3 will be found here in the remaining form okay and then nitrates will be there to balance the reaction now this agno3 is reacted with a solution of this ammonium thiocyanate with an indicator this reaction is a back titration to give us red precipitates now as it is a precipitation titration i have already told you that here we will be getting precipitates and once precipitates are obtained it is determining the end point so here the red colored precipitates of ferric thiocyanate is showing the end point of the reaction now this entire reaction is happening under mm -hmm. acidic ph okay now let us see the detailed form of this particular back titration so what happens here whatever remaining amount of agno3 is there that is reacted with the solution that is ammonium thiocyanate that is having scn ions this scn ions will be re reacted with this remaining silver nitrate to give this silver thiocyanate okay now this silver thiocyanate is having which ions scn minus this silver thiocyanate which is obtained over here will be reacted with this ferric indicators now this ferric indicator is either ferric nitrate or ferric ammonium sulfate again note this sometimes they ask you that which type of indicator is used in wolhart's method ferric nitrate ferric ammonium sulfate both or none then you should know that both will be the answer that is ferric nitrate as well as ferric ammonium sulfate okay so this ferric indicator will be used to get the red precipitates now what we have to take care of is sometimes what happens is agcl will react with this 
solution of ammonium thiocyanate and it is going to give you the false reaction that is AgSCN will be formed and then this ferric indicator will be reacted with it to give the red precipitates which will be the false results. So to prevent the reaction of this silver chloride with ammonium thiocyanate, three things can be done. First, we can mask this AgCl so that it cannot react with this ammonium thiocyanate solution. So how can we do this? Nitrobenzene can be used, which is used as a masking agent to prevent AgCl react with this thiocyanate solution to give us the false results. Okay, so this is also important and you should note it down. Secondly, potassium nitrate can be used as a coagulant. And then lastly, what you can do is you can remove this AgCl by filtration and then after you can react this AgNO3 with ammonium thiocyanate solution to give you the red precipitates. So these could be the three things which can be done. Lastly, as I have already told that this chloride, bromide, thiocyanate and iodide ions are used to determine their concentrations Okay, by this Wollard's method. Now sometimes what happens is when you react instead of chloride this iodide now, you have to see that you are adding AgNO3 and then after indicator is added. Otherwise what will happen is if first indicator is added and then this AgNO3 is added then this indicator will react with iodide ions and it will be giving Fe2 plus and this will hamper the end point. So to not let this happen first add AgNO3 before adding the indicator in case of iodide ions. So this is all about Wollard's method. I hope you find it helpful and if yes, then please do press the like button and don't forget to subscribe for such more videos.